Okay, so we are now recording this, and this is a discussion on how to create a hoop and stitch and sew. And what you're going to do is you're going to, uh, first of all, let's look at the stitch and sew and look at the hoops themselves. First of all, we're going to go to, um, we're going to go to tools and then select hoop. And you can see that you can hit new hoop. In fact, you've got a bunch of hoops in here and you can get rid of the hoops that you don't use. Like for example, there's Baradin, there's um, Durkee, there's Blue, there, uh, there, you might even have Viking hoops, Bernina hoops, Genomia. And if you don't have any of these machines, you can delete them. Um, and these hoops are found in Windows Explorer where you would normally browse the different parts of your computer. Everything for your software for Stitch and Sew is in the C drive and inside C drive in CompuCon. And then in your Stitch and Sew 2 folder, there's a folder called Hoops. And these HOP files are the ones that you're looking at in the list. So if you want to delete um, hoops to make room because you don't have an infinite hoop space, I think you can do maybe 20 hoops, whatever that is. And if you ever have any, if you ever have any um, program crashes, it could be that, and you're messing with hoops, delete a few hoops that you don't need and this will take care of it. So I will close the program out and I'm going to go through here and delete any hoops that I don't think I need. For example, I don't have a Genomi machine, so I'm going to delete these two Genomi files. I don't have a FOF machine or a Husqvarna uh, machine, so I'm going to delete these. I don't have a nine, Happy doesn't make a 19 centimeter round hoop, so I'll delete that one. Okay, so I've deleted a few. You can basically customize your hoop, um, um, your hoop menu and make room for your own hoops. All right, now going into the program, we're gonna, we're gonna return to the same location. I'll show you how the machine builds hoops. So um, the way to do that is go to, so the program should be coming online here briefly. But while we're doing that, uh, what you're gonna see here is that in real life, this I'm doing this in a program, but um, get a piece of polar graph paper and you should have rays here, I think every five degrees. This is every 10 degrees, which is what the happy machine does. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna move the hoop and center it exactly. That's why you need the graph papers. Use your crosshairs to make sure that this machine is exactly, the, the hoop is exactly centered. And all you're gonna care about is, and I'll draw some lines here, is that you're gonna make 10 measurements. And, um, you're gonna measure from the center and I'm gonna draw some red lines here so you can see which measurements count. And uh, let's make that a nice wide. So you're gonna measure from the center of the hoop to the edge of the hoop right here. And then you're gonna do the same thing for here. And I'm gonna get a little bit more exact here. Let's do that one again. You're gonna measure from the center of the hoop straight across to the three o'clock position. So you're gonna take this measurement with a millimeter ruler. Then you're gonna do the same thing from the next tick mark and you're gonna have more uh, lines. You want every five degrees, this one's every 10 degrees. So get polar graph paper that raises out every five degrees and you're gonna make 20 measurements. So you're gonna actually make in millimeters from the center to each one of these locations and what you're gonna start doing is the measurements are gonna be these points here from center to zero degrees, center to five, center to 10, all the way out to the 90 degree position, which is gonna be right up here. So basically you're making, taking about 20 measurements between here and here. Those 20 numbers are, are going to draw the arc of the quadrant, or in other words, one fourth of the hoop and what, Stitch and Sew is going to do is then flip that over once, then flip it over twice, and build a picture of the hoop. So that's how that works. So in Stitch and Sew, the way that works is get your 20 numbers, write them down, and then when you go to Tools and select Hoop, you can create new hoop. And you and you want to typically you don't need a circular hoop, but if you can, you, if you want to, you can. Um, 
let's say a round rectangular, which is what most hoops are, and just give it a name like, um, let's say, you don't have a lot of room. I think you have seven characters. Let's see, mighty, M-I-G-H-T-Y. So that's six. And if you had a mighty hoop four inch, then four and a half inch, then you try to type that for, I'm stopped there. So I would say like, if you're doing a mighty hoop, M-T-Y 4.5. That way you have, you're using seven characters. It's a mighty 4.5 and then maybe square, S for square. So, and then for comments go, mighty hoop 4.5 inch square. And that way you know what it is. And then you have in set, you can set the dimensions of the hoop either this way. Um, so let's say that it's four and a half inches. So you're gonna do um, so um, four and a half inches in millimeters, just take that 4.5 and multiply it by 25.4. So about 114 millimeters. And then it's a square, so just make the same number. And then get your inside margin, which is going to be about maybe that's good leave it at 10 and your radius is going to be the radius of the corners so i'm going to leave that at maybe 30. and let's leave that alone this is going to be in the recording and so that you can see what happens i'll hit next and that gives you this curvature here and what you can do is um and i'll tile this uh so that you, you can see but you can take these and en enter each one of these measurements exactly taking your number let's say it's uh 55 millimeters or whatever, then type 550. Five, and you can see now this is, and then let's say this is 56 millimeters, so type 560. Enter your measurements here, whatever they are, and that's going to give you, here are your 20 measurements, and that will give you the exact um, measurement of the hoop plus a little bit of um, inside margin. So that's how that works. And then um, and then once you're done, and or you could leave them alone and just give it a general measurement, but if you do those 20 measurements, then this is gonna be pretty exact. Hit next, and we're finished, and then hit okay. And then what should happen, I think on program restart, but we'll try it now is let's go to tools, select hoop, and let's look for our mighty hoop. It should be, here it is, mighty hoop 4.5 inch square. Hit okay, and then hit H for hoop, and you can see that little wiggle that I did, but now that's an accurate Mighty Hoop. So I hope that that helps you guys in creating your own, the ability to create your own hoops for Stitch and Sew. And if you make one, you can email it to everybody or even sell it to other people if you want to, but for Stitch and Sew. So that's how you make a hoop for, for Mighty Hoops. So, um, so that's a good question, and I will go ahead and uh, um, 